what was the biggest lessons that you learned um from the way they built in Irish to the built the way they built in the US? Yeah, I think I think the QS role in particular, um outside of the United States, I think there's much more transparency in the pre-construction process with regards to cost. So, you know, it's essentially open book the 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 PQS or Quine Surveyor, they're there in control of the quantity takeoffs, which is validated by general contractors, contractors, but everything is broken down into unit price. And so it makes it easy to level bids. It makes it easy to set up, you know, frameworks in order to review change orders downstream. Um, so there's no you know, one lump sum numbers and things like that, where it just, there's no background, no substance. We don't know whether the number is right or wrong. Um, and I think that's, that's definitely improving in the United States, especially on the bigger projects and especially with new technologies that are coming into play. I think, you know, pre-construction is just so important. Pre-construction planning is just so important for these mega projects. And it all starts with the very first number. The first number isn't right. Even at the concept uh, stage, the, the project is upside down from the beginning. Everybody's under pressure. And I think allowing, you know, historical information, benchmark information to be shared and be open about it informs that very first number based on past experience and it sets projects up for success from the beginning rather than rolling with you know a, a number that's never going to be the number and it's double it at 100 percent dds or cds so you know we've been in them situations in the past i've been in them situations in the past and just the importance of pre-construction planning i just I, you know i can't vouch for enough 